Will a day come when we stumble upon proof of life beyond our blue planet? Where will this groundbreaking evidence be unearthed? Could it be hidden within an exoplanet orbiting a modest star, waiting to reveal its secrets? Researchers have recently laid eyes on a new planet, previously hidden from view, that stands as a candidate for harboring life. In today's video, we embark on an interstellar journey to explore how an exoplanet detected by the James Webb Telescope might be capable of supporting life beyond Earth. In a distant corner of the cosmos, approximately 100 light-years away, a team of astronomers has discovered two super-Earths revolving around a red dwarf star known as LP-899. This star, second only to the renowned TRAPPIST-1, is one of the coolest stars ever found to host planets. The inner planet has been named LP-899b and is approximately 30% larger than the Earth. LP-899b completes a revolution around its mother star every 2.7 days. LP-899b boasts a diameter roughly 1.32 times that of Earth, along with a mass reaching up to 13 times that of our planet. But the second discovered planet, LP-899c, is particularly interesting. LP-899c is comparable to the inner planet and is about 40% larger than the Earth. This planet takes a little longer to make a lap around its mother star, which is approximately 8.5 days, and that is promising. Meanwhile, LP-899c exhibits a diameter approximately 1.37 times that of Earth and can weigh up to 25 times Earth's mass. Discovered by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, the inner planet's scorching temperature of 253 degrees Fahrenheit, 123 degrees Celsius, likely renders it uninhabitable. However, the outer planet, LP-899c, with its chilly but potentially life-supporting temperature of 30 Fahrenheit, minus 1.1 degrees Celsius, lies within its star's habitable zone. Are these planets habitable, you ask? The answer lies in their temperate conditions. Interestingly, both these planets are expected to possess temperate conditions, with one of them being deemed the second most promising habitable zone terrestrial planet known to date. Francisco J. Pozuelos, a researcher at the Institute of Astrophysics of Andalusia stated, although this planet orbits perilously close to its star, at a distance approximately 10 times shorter than Mercury's distance from our Sun, it receives a relatively low amount of stellar irradiation, leaving the possibility of liquid water on its surface viable if it maintains an adequate atmosphere. This is because LP-890, 9 is approximately 6.5 times smaller than the Sun with a temperature half as hot as our star. Hence, despite its much closer proximity to its star than Earth's to the Sun, LP-899c could still harbor conditions suitable for supporting life. But how do researchers determine the presence of water? It's a delicate balance. Too close to the star and water evaporates, too far and it freezes. The habitable zone is the Goldilocks region, where conditions are just right. One of the crucial steps is the distance between the planet and its star. Any water on the planet's surface will freeze if this distance is too great. If the distance is too small, water on the planet's surface will evaporate. The theory is based on what we see happening in our solar system. Mars is too far from the Sun, Venus is too close, and the Earth is in just the right place, that is in the habitable zone. Another aspect to ponder is the potential habitability of planets orbiting red dwarf stars. Evidence suggests that red dwarfs can exhibit violent flares, which release potent particles capable of stripping atmospheres from nearby planets. Despite being less luminous than stars like our Sun, red dwarfs can produce higher levels of harmful UV and X-rays. However, another research indicates that the violent flares only originate from their poles, potentially sparing planets in orbit. Beyond the considerations of habitable zones and atmospheres, Significant uncertainties remain regarding the habitability around red dwarfs, which raises crucial questions about the suitability of these systems for supporting life. Yet, the habitability of planets orbiting red dwarf stars is a complex puzzle. These stars can exhibit violent flares, potentially stripping atmospheres from nearby planets. The observations from TESS did further research and were then checked using the Speculus Southern Observatory. 
Ground-based telescopes are often necessary to confirm whether the candidates that test finds are planets, says Del Rez. In addition, this often enables us to refine the dimensions and orbital properties. This verification is particularly important for very cold stars, like LP 890 9. This is because such stars emit most of their light in the near infrared, which TESS is only partially sensitive to. TESS identifies planets by monitoring starlight levels. When a planet transits between a star and the satellite, the starlight dims. The Speculus telescopes, equipped with heightened sensitivity to infrared light, followed up on the discovery. As cold stars, like the one hosting the new planet, mainly emit infrared light, particularly thanks to cameras that are very sensitive in the near-infrared. The goal of Speculos is to search for potentially habitable terrestrial planets that circle the smallest and coolest stars in our cosmic backyard, says researcher Michael Gillen. Not only did astronomers confirm that there is indeed a planet orbiting LP 890, 9, but the observations even led to the discovery of a second potentially habitable planet. Now the researchers plan to scrutinize LP 899C more closely, suspecting that it may have geological and atmospheric conditions akin to Earth's. The study authors believe this exoplanet might be an excellent candidate for atmosphere detection using the JWST. Del Rez stated, LP 899C resides near the inner edge of the habitable zone, potentially leading to an atmosphere abundant in water vapor consequently amplifying its atmospheric signals. The next step is to study whether the planet has an atmosphere, and if so, to determine its composition. James Webb Telescope is designed to examine the atmospheres of planets outside our solar system and to search for traces of life in them. The telescope aims to focus on the planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system, and now the promising planet LP-899C can also be added to this especially since the planet seems to have much in common with the potentially habitable planets around TRAPPIST-1. The search for planets around small, cool dwarf stars could be the key to unlocking the mysteries of alien life. These stars, more common and more easily observed than sun-like stars, may hold the answers we seek. What do you think of uncovering exoplanets orbiting various kinds of stars to enhance our understanding of how planets form and develop throughout the cosmos? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this video sparked your interest, give it a galactic thumbs up and make sure to subscribe at warp speed. Don't go just yet. Click on the video on your screen for more exciting space explorations.